Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of Strange Terrain, or the Knocker Strike as a lot of people know it as. I, I wasn't going to put it up, but I figured I would. I've had it on the laptop all week. I thought, why not? And especially, the reason I wasn't going to put it up is because Bungie have announced this one is definitely bugged. Uh, the Braytech Osprey, the rocket launcher, is not dropping from this. It will be fixed when Forsaken drops next week. But at this present time, because of the weirdness of this week and certain systems probably have been shut down so that other systems can get a chance to work or whatever, gives them. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but they've announced that this week will be weird. So, but I decided to put it up because I'm going to put. I've got two other videos that I've made that I want to put up, and I figured I'm not going to do commentary for both of them. So I figured I would just link them to this video. And, and speak about them in this one. Because <laughs> they're not... They're, it's nothing I haven't done before. I, 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 so, one of them's the Solo Whisper. Now, I was never going to do another Solo Whisper. I've done three. That was enough. But there's a bug in this week's Solo Whisper. That heavy ammo is not dropping in the strike. And a few people I know have tried to do it and can't do it because... No heavy. And it was... One of my clan mates said to me, Pete... I'll shout you out in the video. You were the one that gave me the idea for it. And he said, there's a good idea for a video. See if you can do this. And he was being informative. And in my head, I just heard, challenge accepted. <laughs> so I got it actually on my first run. So I was, I, was very, I was very pleased. It's not the cleanest run I've ever done. I think it's four or five deaths. Mostly, I think four of them is because I had to push with a shotgun. And that's always going to be dangerous. Uh, and one of them was I took the blight out at the end and basically lost my bearings with all the shots I was taking. I couldn't find the entrance to the cave. I think I died at the start because I tried to jump out the way of the throne, was just underneath the the cave a little bit and jumped up and hit the roof of the cave and just they just wiped me when I landed. So I managed to get the solo done without with only firing maybe three or four uh, sleep uh, whisper shots the whole thing until I got to the boss because nothing's dropping so you've got to keep as much heavy as you can for the end and the other video is I've obviously given my thoughts on Gambit I probably will do some commentary on that because I've had a couple of ideas since I've played it about potential loadouts that will be useful uh, my thoughts on it moving forward type of thing the first game I played at Gambit I only played two games of it the first game I was hopeless. I, I didn't actually know what I was doing. <laughs> I was just shooting things. and But I did get 17 Guardian kills, which is pretty decent. The second game was much better. I had much more of an idea, although I wouldn't say, you know, having watched the gameplay back and now understanding it a bit better, I realised there were other ways I could have done stuff. There was better loadouts I could have used. and uh, But I did get, I think, one or two team wipes. I, I, infiltrated the other team's side and got I know I got one, I think I got a four four piece in the first game mode I played just just to diverse a little bit, as you can see in the video, I've put one sniper shot on each of these guys, the reason I never finished them with sniper shots is because I've, I've been trying to find out, trying to test and that's what I've done at the start of the week how you drop heavy ammo because heavy ammo is, is kind of dropping for me, unreliably you know but what it seems to be after some testing is heavy ammo can drop if you use your heavy. It can drop if you use your special. But most of the time, heavy ammo will drop more consistently if you use your primary. So you guys can test that out. You know, And the way I tested it out is nearly every event I've done, whether it be patrol, whether it be farming, whether it be a nightfall, anything, I, I've, I've purposely killed things with my heavy Kilt things from my super, kilt stuff from my primary, and I've been doing it for a, I'd been doing it for two days, and I noticed, as you can see, my super got some heavy to drop, but nearly everything was, you know, before that was primary. Primary is just it seems to be the best way to drop consistently drop heavy ammo. So I'm not really I'm not really talking about the knocker strike too much. I I, I do realize that, but it's, the video is pretty straightforward. The only kind of strategies that I use uh, that I think are important are the ogre and the boss room. So the ogre, 
I attack, as soon as I go in, that's where I attack the left hand side from. I take out either the, the Shrieker or the Ogre, whichever it is. And then I can scope in on the ads coming out the door. Uh, and when I was using the, the Warcliff, which I have done it before, I would attack that side with the Warcliff. But because I'm using the Darcy, you can just break the first knight's shield and take him. Second knight will run away. Most of the time he'll run away. Sometimes he'll just hide at the back and wait for you to get the orb and then start shooting at you. But most of the time he runs away. So I get the orb and then I run all the way back around counterclockwise. I throw the orb, run all the way around counterclockwise, shoot the second knight from, from the, the bottom of the... As you're looking at the ogre room, bot, the furthest right-hand corner. Then I run across, grab the orb, throw it, turn back round because the second ogre spawns in that corner that I was shooting the knight from. Kill the, kill the ogre, I'll have my super, I wait for the I wait for the the first knight to drop down, then I pop my super because my I know then my super will last long enough to take both knights out. Then I once I take the knights out, I throw the first orb and I take the second one round to the round to where I am now in the video. That right here and that's where I attack the ogre from because it's the most cover. For the boss room you've got three waves. Now there's a point on the right hand as soon as you drop in, there's a big rock just in front of you, maybe slightly to the right. That's the right-hand rock. Directly over the other side, facing it, just, just to the side of where the, the knight spawns over the other side, that's the left-hand rock. They are my points of reference. I will normally sit next to the right-hand rock for the ad phases, for the first and second waves. So the first wave, you just, when the boss comes out, you'll snipe him, you've got four knights, you take those knights, Boss will come out, I snipe him from the same rock, and you'll see in the video, I always go to that rock, snipe him from there, and then snipe him from that rock, and then the first wave, the first round will just be adds. So I shoot all the adds from the right hand rock, then two groups of acolytes will come out. I think the left hand acolytes come out first, you take those, and then the knight comes out. Take the knight, and rinse and repeat sorry that's the left rinse and repeat with the right second wave so I've t I t sorry at the end of the first wave i take do damage to knockers from the same rock that i've done it in the first wave and then in this run i attack the first wizard because in the next wave you get two wizards i attack the first wizard which is on the right hand side and then i stay roughly around the right hand rock because knocker shoots at you but he shoots from a static position take all the adds and then once the ads are down, then I attack the second wizard because that's what that's the trigger for the knights coming. The knights won't come if any of the wizards are up. So take the second wizard and then take the two knights. Deal damage to Norcris from the rock. And then it's game on because Norcris now is a roaming boss. He will roam, he will fire, he'll do everything to you. So I run around, try and kill off some... I run between left and right rock. They are my two points because they give me the most cover from Nocris. And the minute the first knight comes out, now from my experience, the first knight normally comes out on the left-hand side. I pop my super, take him, take as many ads as I can, make it across to the other side, and take out the next knight. All you'll be left with then is maybe some acolytes and throw the two orbs and take Nocris at will. That's my, that's my strategy for doing this. So now I've told you my strategy, we can carry on talking about what we were talking about before. <laughs> I, 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 I do love speaking to you guys. I don't make enough videos where we can just talk about Destiny because it's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I've got these videos. Uh, I'll be putting them up. The Solo Whisper with no heavy ammo dropping. It's quite cool. Uh, the Gambit gameplay. Now, I won't be doing any commentary for the Whisper Run. But I will do commentary because I'm going to add the Gambit Run will go up afterwards. So I will link it to this. When I when I upload the video with the commentary, I will put the link in the description for this video. The link for the Whisper will go in the description for this video as well. So you'll be this is your point... This is how you reference both of them, but they'll both be their, their own videos. You will they'll be on my channel, they'll be in the search engine, but I'm just going to link them to this as well. 
Gambit was awesome. Ga Gambit was really good. I, as I said, when I looked at the video afterwards, I realized I could have done it a bit better. I can't wait for Tuesday. It's going to be good times. I'm a little bit annoyed that the day after the raid comes out, I go on holiday for a week to Spain. That's not not great timing. You can tell I never booked that. Uh, <laughs> so I am, it's probably the most important thing that, for my channel, for me, that I get a raid guide out. I was a big, big reader in D1. D2, I, the Leviathan's okay. It's okay. But it's for me, it's, it's, it's full of challenges, but it's not a challenge. You know, I've never really had an issue with the Leviathan getting it done. Uh, Eater of Worlds, I completed it on the very first time I went in to do it, so... Not really too much of an issue there. Spira Stars, don't like the look of it. I've never been into it. Will never go into it. Because it's just, it just strikes me as, it'll be, it's not, just because that's the way I feel, I'm not expecting everybody to feel like that. But the way that they've, they've uh, sold the Last Wish, which is the raid in Forsaken, I'm in. I want some of that. And, I I I did put a Leviathan, I did put a Leviathan, uh, I did put a Leviathan guide on my channel. I'm just trying to think while I'm speaking about it. I'm trying to think why I never finished it. I put dogs, pools, and I put the gauntlet up. But I never put Carlos, and I think it was because it never really got the interest I was I was hoping it would get. Maybe because at the time it was maybe too late. Too late in the day for it to be relevant. So I want a really good guide. Me and my team used to absolutely annihilate all the raids in D1. We were relentless in how many times we would do those. Challenge mode and ever, all the rest of it. And uh, I think we had some really quickly, had some really good ways to do the King's Fall. And, and stuff that became the norm we were doing right off the bat. So I really want to get that that raid guide up. So it's just annoying that I'm going to be away for from practically when it drops for the first week. So bear with me. It might take me might take me a couple of days after I come back to get that raid guide out. But that is that is a that is a must. What the nightfall is going to bring, who knows? But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing what the, the Dreaming City is going to offer us. That seems like it's going to be my cup of tea, if you, if, you know, solo challenges and all the rest of it. All this stuff will come to the channel. You guys that stuck my, with me from the start, you, you've made it possible for me to have, honestly, doing my YouTube channel is probably one of the proudest things outside of being a father that I've that I've had because it's because it's me I've done this but I couldn't have done it without you guys obviously I, there's no way this would have been anything without you guys and although I don't have thousands of subscribers I don't I have loyal subscribers and that's that's more important quality over quantity any day of the week and you know there are some some of my subscribers that have just been they've been there for it seems like forever since I started and they've commented and they've liked and they've been complimentary and they've made when I've not felt so good about some of my content some of their comments have been when I've been attacked for some of my content they it's, it's almost like I'm a big boy I, I, I you know I obviously can stick up for myself and I can take it on the chin when it's when it, but some you know they've come in and they've defended me and I was told a long time ago that once I got a, a loyal following, if I did get attacked on one of my comments, or on the comment section of one of my videos, I wouldn't need to say anything because the people that followed me would defend me anyway. And that's exactly what's happened. So you guys know who you are. You guys know who you are that have been there from the start, who have commented, who have helped me grow, gave me the opportunity to keep doing this. Keep your eyes open because for, Forsaken is going to be a. I hope now that I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something. That I have I don't think I've ever said to anybody on, on you know 
on the YouTube channel or any subscriber or anybody that watches this. I had no clue what I was doing with YouTube for over seven months. So it's really been the last five months that I've worked out how I tag. I mean, I had no idea how to tag videos. And nobody taught me. People what people used to say, are you tagging your videos right? And it was, it's like the person that says, uh, I've lost my keys, where did you lose them? You know, well, if I knew that, are you tagging your, your videos properly? How do I know? Because I don't know what properly is. And I'd done a lot of reading and it just started to make sense. And now I still, you know, because because nobody said, oh yeah, that's exactly how you do it. Until someone says that, you're always wondering if you're doing it right. But it seems, I seem to get a lot more traffic now. You just need, you just need that little bit more growth to become, you know, a channel that, that gets its content pushed by YouTube. But to all the people that, that are on the channel watching it, subscribing, supporting, you guys are just the best. And I hope, I hope one day, I'd, I just want to see one day somebody comment, I was here at the start, or something like that. I'm not a channel, and I don't know if I ever will be that will do giveaways, but I'd love to be able to pay you guys back for your support, and hopefully I will one day. Thank you very much for watching the video. Look out for the next two videos. They're going to be pretty cool, and I'll see you in those.